Continuing on the theme of quietness in painting. Now, water always suggests, well, placid water, lake water always suggests quietness to me. But it's making the overall thing peaceful, calm, and going from no detail to detail. So that's the paper wet. It's Fabriana, 130 pounds. I always have a cloth handy to wipe the excess moisture off your brush. Here's the palette, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey, and burnt sienna. I'll just give the palette a wipe. I'm uploading the first one that I did earlier this, this moment. I'll just show you one that I've just framed for somebody. One I did some weeks ago, Autumn on the Wandle from the Wooden, wooden Bridge. Can you see that? Uh, oh, let's. Uh, so there it is, I'll just angle it so it doesn't reflect too much. It's got a nice, nice frame around it. Let's zoom out a bit so you can see it better. There we are. Quite nice in you know, amount. Put that to one side. Right, back to the matter in hand. Out a bit. Sorry about the shaking. Right, okay, the dull, it's a very dull day, but I want to put in uh, some light for the sky again. So I'll just get that through the middle there. I'll put a beach in this. Just to suggest a bit of light, perhaps a bit of lemon yellow. Just a just a touch. But I'm not going to centre the light with the heavy clouds in it. I'm going to just paint a, a plain light grey sky. But it's just slowly coming into focus as the mist on the river lifts, or on the, uh, not river, on the lake. So a bit of ultramarine, a bit of um, alizarin, plenty of, of, of that colour. Now when your brush splits, just bring it back together again. So just, oh, that's dried. Right, let's just get that bit lighter there. Now, just put a bit of water. While that's that's wet, we'll put in a, a, a background in the in the wet, a bit, bit blue, a bit of a uh, Just do some sort of a, some hills. Nothing really great consequence. Just just the background. I mean, it's so easy to do. Just go down to your horizon, and I want it to actually go into the the water. Let's dry it off. All right, let's put in some darker stuff now. A bit of, uh, bit of red. This hike is splitting again. All very, very simple. Let's, uh, I'll drag that down into the into the into the water in a minute. Oh, 
I've worked the cream the brass, there's some water off of it, and just, just, just touch the edge. See if you can just, the water hopefully will just come down into the wet and form a sort of reflection. So I'm going to get some real hard, hard stuff now. So thick paint, no. any, any bristles, just pull them out as they arrive. I'll put some some raw some burnt sienna in this in a minute just to bring the changes. So nice thick sienna. That's a bit dirty from the paint grey that I used in the previous painting. Bit of blue, bit of. So just sort of alter me colours coming to the foreground now. If you hate spirits, just dip it in the water and just bring it together as best you can anyway. No, it's just Oops, the brush is flicking there. I don't know why that's all dried out there. I'll go with a good wet, as you saw. Oh, it's thick. See, if you go thick, it, it will actually register. But if you, if it's thin paint on thin paint, it's not going to do anything. The sort of watery colours. Right, let's drag that down. Some, some of this here. Just put in some of the colours that you can see behind. It's quite a bit of blue in there. Just overdone that. I have to uh, take off some of that excess water there. Let's just get that bit dark in there. I think I might be able to do this. Right, hold on. Let's uh, see if I can drag that off. It's because it's uh, the that bit of paper was dry. Now I'm going to dry it off with a hair dryer. Now hold on to your hats. hats. Stops it from uh, forming those oases. Right, clip and clip. Okay, a bit of dry brush. Now, let's put it the other side as flat as possible. Now, it's very, very similar to, to what I've done the other side. So um, well, we'll see how we go. I want to put in some nice beachy colour now, but a dry brush. But not as dry brush as that. Just nice, nice warm colours.
Now this is a good practice in a dry brush. This seems to work a bit better than than the um, the hake. A bit more control over it. This is a number fourteen sable that I got for twenty for twenty five pounds. Lovely brush. It's Kalinsky sable sable. And some of the really top quality ones go for over hundred quid. That's pounds. Right. Got a nice bit of dark in there. Just catching the high spots now. Just want to bring that beach up here a little bit because. Discover that bit of mud up there. <coughs> right, bit of sienna in there. Put a bit of a tree in there now. This is turning into a bit of a lake painting, isn't it? So, uh, with this brush here, we'll put in some some autumn colours. So, a bit of burnt umber. I'm covering up a bit that I didn't like. Didn't quite come off. So this is just a, a couple of trees here over there. Just the warm colours. And we'll put some dark shadow in here. Shadow. Okay, well this is changed into something totally different. But go go with it. If you make a mistake, or if you, you make a dodgy passage and cover it up. Who's going to know? Oops. A bit of green in there. You would get leaves aren't entirely brown or red on trees. Well, they're not in the UK, they're not. Right. So we've so we've uh, now just altered that into something different. But we're still in the theme of. Um, Of painting quietness, I just put a bit of uh, texture in in this now. But I want to just put these uh, trunks in, so I use grey and uh, can't remember what I was saying there. It's age. Just a sort of a grey brownie. Nothing. 
nice lot of heavy branches in these sort of oak trees. Just go out to the as you can, you can go a bit beyond some of, some of these. Well, that will talk before I sort of ruin it. Bit of uh, nice, nice bit of ivy in here. Shadow. Right now, put a bit of detail over. Yeah, not a lot. Mm, should I? No. I'll, I'll just carry on with a bit of dry brush on there. If I can get that flat, I don't think I can. No, it's not going to go flat faster than that. So we'll uh, just come across here with a bit of, bit of dark dry brush. If it comes off, it's just a very easy way to texture to put a detail in, but it really doesn't say very much. But we do need something in there. I think we could safely put in some boats there, shall we? Yeah, let's uh, put in some white boats. There's a bit of gouache from this, uh, I use this palette here for this sort of thing. I've got colours on it, so I can, when you mix grass with a, with a water, another colour, watercolour, the Chinese, the, 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 the chalk in it makes it opaque, but uh, you, it, it does dry very hard. So whether it shows or not, I don't, I don't know. Now coming out of the mist we can safely put a couple of those now. I've done something completely different to the previous one which is to the good really. Uh, just balance over here. It's coming in. Well I'll give it a signature. Nice and dark. Brushes are clear, clean, and not left soaking wet. Right, I'll put that in the mound and we'll have a look at it. So, once again, making it up as you go along, I'll put a blue mount on it. See, the more, the more you do of these, the, the, the easier they get, or the more fluent you get. But be prepared to, to change your mind if things go wrong. And what I've got here, what I've tried to get, is the contrast between the blue background and the warms of the, of the foreground. So, so the whole thing's coming forward on this side. Um, so we've got one plane, two planes, three planes, four planes. Five planes, six planes. So quite, quite a lot going on there. Quite a simple picture. 
but then I like simplicity. I hope you, you enjoyed that. Let's bring you around and have a look. I've got my paper about 20 degrees, so I can't get the camera in front of my head and above my head, looking down at right angles. The tripod is behind me, so I keep knocking it. So let's have a, a zoom. Go into the tree, really. So they've got the, the colours, got lots of trunks, big thick trunks to hold the weight of the tree. Don't do them too spindly. So there's our other side. Come down. Let's look at that dry brush. You can see where the dry brush hits the high, the, the ripples in the paper rather than the, like here and here. But with this 130 pounds, it's always a bit risky. But I like it. Um, have a go yourselves, practice simple things, do simple things well, if you can. I don't always pull them off, but I'm just having fun with my paints. I like the type of stuff, it's a bit bitchy around here, but, uh, but overall I think we've got something there. Thanks for watching, bye bye.